So you want to learn cloud, but you're confused about which path to choose in cloud or uh, which certification to do to make a career switch. I'm going to make it super simple for you all so that you're going to make a sound decision in picking the right path or the right role in the cloud uh, before you make a switch. And it will help you to uh, get the job that you'll enjoy in cloud. Hey guys, my name is GK. If you're new to this channel, this is where you're going to look at awesome cloud content and you're going to see the tips and tricks that you know I have learned over the years and that will help you to make a career switch in cloud. Um, so please feel free to subscribe and click on bell icon. So getting into the subject, there are basically three cloud paths if I have to put it at a very high level. So one is developer, operations and cloud architect. And there are other niche areas as well, which, I, which I'll talk about. But these three are the main important areas where you're going to see a lot of job opportunities on. So I'm going to tell you the key roles and responsibilities of those three paths. And that way you can decide yourself based on your background, which path you would like to select. Let's start with the developer. Let's say you want to become a very good developer on cloud. So below are the key roles and responsibilities of a developer. So understanding cloud libraries to use them with services and understanding like platform as a service solutions. Like, you know, for example, if you have to use in uh, Google, you would use App Engine or Go Google Kubernetes Engine in AWS. You have to learn how to use Elastic Beanstalk and stuff. So basically you have to design your application within the cloud. So these past solutions will help you to you know, uh, make your application easier and develop your application much faster. Some cloud service providers also provide the IDE, so the whole developer experience is, is different in cloud. So you would want to learn how to develop the code, how to build the code inside the cloud uh, itself. So you don't have to come to on-premise at all or you don't have to do anything on your desktop. Understanding logging is important too because you know uh, when you're on-prem, you would log on your disk, but in cloud you might have to use like for example, Stackdriver in Google or uh, you know CloudWatch in AWS and log your application in that. And the most important thing is that you have to learn native services like PubSub in, in Google, like you might be using Kafka or uh, RabbitMQ. So these services will change in cloud. So understanding them, how to optimize your code using native services will play a key role for application to perform much better. So now let's say that you don't want to be in development and you are passionate about the infrastructure. You know, there are many people who are more passionate about the infrastructure and play around with the infrastructure services. So let's say you have a sound understanding of a DNS, load balancers, you know, how to manage your volumes, taking backups, you know, very good system administration skills. Then the key roles and responsibilities of a, an operations person in cloud would be how would you create those services? How would you manage those services on cloud? For example, what is the DNS service in uh, Google or in AWS? That's how do you do logging and monitoring in GCP using their native services? How do you set up the CI/CD pipeline? Right? How do you help developers to have a better experience with the infrastructure side? And how do you maintain that day one operations and day two operations? So these things will play a key role as an infrastructure person in cloud. And the third path that many people would love to choose when they have good experience is cloud architect. Now cloud architect is something that, would, that where you would design an application or design a solution in cloud using the services. Because as you all know, you can achieve the same result in multiple ways in cloud by using multiple services. So keeping cost, you know, keeping reliability, operational efficiency, and multiple other factors in mind, you would have to come up with a solution where developers can develop the application and put it on cloud and scale it and for the future perspective too. So if you look at uh, the jobs in the market, you see they expect that person to have uh, experience in multiple areas. For example, they have done some basic development, they know how to use databases. So generally, when you apply for cloud architect jobs, they look for people who are more experienced in software development lifecycle. Now, there are other niche areas as well. For example, you are a hardcore security person on-prem. Um, you have been supporting your applications on-prem uh, from security perspective. So you can make a career switch in cloud as a CISO expert, um, understanding the IAM functionalities of cloud. Um, or, uh, you know, understanding how you're going to maintain your application security, you know, how you're going to secure your data, PCI data or any data on cloud. So that's with respect to security. Let's say you're from a networking background, right? So you know um, how does a VPC look like? You know the core functionalities of network. So you can get a very good job in cloud too by understanding the VPCs, concepts of VPN and connecting your um, applications to on-prem. So so that with respect to networking. 
So another popular niche area where a lot of people are looking towards these days is like data engineer. So if you are good with data, if you have built models, you know, if you like to learn more machine learning, so there is a data engineer course too. For instance, GCP offers the data engineer course uh, along with associate and architecture. So that's another niche area. So these are like few niche areas where you can pick and choose, you know, make a career out of uh, the cloud. Uh, but the three main areas that I've covered are areas where you'll also see a lot of jobs uh, when you search for them for cloud computing. Let me know in the comment section what is your cloud background and maybe we can have a discussion around it. So if you like this video, please do subscribe and I hope this gave you some clarity on choosing the right path. I hope you're going to have a fantastic career as a cloud engineer and I wish you all the best and thanks for watching. Bye.